Tomorrow, the ex-Minneapolis police officer convicted of killing George Floyd will learn his punishment. A jury found Derek Chauvin guilty of murder and manslaughter in a case that sparked worldwide protests, riots, and demands for police reform. WCCO's Esme Murphy gets answers about what to expect in the Chauvin sentencing. 45-year-old Derek Chauvin would be facing a likely 12-and-a-half-year guideline sentence for George Floyd's murder. But the sentence will be more than that because the judge found four aggravating factors. That Chauvin abused his position of authority, acted with particular cruelty, and with three other officers. And there were also children present. Joe Tamburino is a criminal defense attorney not affiliated with the case. How much does aggravating factors factor into a sentence? Quite a bit, because this sentence under the guidelines should be 150 months, which is 12 and a half years. However, the judge could go up to 40 years. It appears that at least four members of the Floyd family are going to testify. Do those have an impact on the sentence the judge imposes? Yes, it could very well have an impact. Judges still don't make the final determination as to what the actual sentence should be until they've heard the full sentencing hearing. How about Derek Chauvin? Will Derek Chauvin speak at this sentencing? I think the odds are he will, but it will be very brief. He will probably, if he decides to speak, say something like he is very sorry and he never meant to kill or harm Mr. Floyd. The bottom line, though, Derek Chauvin is going to be sentenced to a long time in prison. Correct. Uh, I would suspect the judge is going to give him between 25 and 30 years. The prosecutor wants 30 years. The defense wants probation or something minimal. Um, the defense's request is, is not realistic. The final word at sentencing will likely be a memorable message from Judge Peter Cahill. I would imagine Judge Cahill already has something prepared that he wishes to say to Mr. Chauvin, as well as the community at large. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. Whatever punishment Chauvin gets, he could get out for good behavior after serving two-thirds of his prison sentence. Ahead of tomorrow's sentencing, we are looking back at key moments from the trial. Watch our special report at 7 o'clock on CBSN Minnesota by downloading our app or on WCCO.com.